Hey guys, it's Nicole. I have a little ink haul to share with you today, and then I also wanted to show you um, what getting those new inks led me to do, just for organization's sake. So I've been raving about this ink that I got at Tuesday morning. Um, it just inks really well on stamps. It's very vibrant, and so I started to look online to see if they were still selling these, because why would they be at Tuesday morning? And I noticed a lot of places are getting rid of their stock, like scrapbook.com doesn't have any anymore, and um, a few other places. So I found that Emma's Papery online um, has them, and if you use the code Emma, E-M-M-A, um, I believe you get 10% off. So I went ahead and put in an order and got a few of the colors that I wanted before they went out of stock. I got this gold color. It looks like that. And I got this because I thought it would look good with the gold in the um, Fifth and Frolic collection. Then I got this apricot color. And it's actually more of like a coppery type um, orange, and I thought this would be really good for some fall layouts and doing some stamping on some Halloween layouts. Then I got Cricut, which isn't exactly the color I thought it was. Um, I thought it was going to be more of like a yellow green, kind of like the front here, but it's actually more of like a lime green, and I already have a color similar to this, so that one was sort of a bust. And then I got this awesome aqua color. I have nothing like it, and it, I just love it. It's so vibrant. It's almost more green than blue. I got this powder color that's this um, pale blue and I actually um, after stamping it I have a color very similar to it so but I'm glad I got it. Um, I like the, this pad better than the other pad. And then I got this taffy color which is like a really pretty magenta and it looks like that and it's almost like a neon pink color. And then last but not least, I got grapefruit. And it looks like this. It's a very salmon pink color. So I believe I got all of those um, for $34 with shipping. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for something that I really wanted. So after doing that, um, I started like looking at all my inks. and um, I have inks in different kinds of um, capacities. Like I have you know regular pads kind of like this. I have some um, of the cat's eyes, and I have some like this that I've had in my stash for years, the little paint boxes, um, and I have some that are like little dew drops. So I decided that I wanted to kind of categorize all my ink so that I know um, what I have. So in order to do that, all I did was I grouped them by color family, and I took some Solar Nina cardstock um, and chose a, a stamp that I could use uniformly throughout the whole process. And I ended up choosing this stamp right here that Sherry picked up for me um, at Hobby Lobby because I wanted a stamp that had some solid areas, and this does right here, and that also had some very thin line detailed areas so that I could see how it stamped completely and this stamp really just served good purpose. Obviously it looks really worn now. Um, and then I just used some page protectors to cover them. So this is kind of what it looks like. So these are like my reds. Um, sorry I'm not getting them all fully in camera here. But yeah. Um, and all I did was I wrote the color like this is from so like these reds from this paint box. I wrote ruby. And then I wrote paint box so that I knew where I got them. And then I wrote if they were a P for pigment, a D for dye, or a C for chalk. Because that's basically what I own. Um, so I just stamped them out. And actually, in doing this process, I really learned what um, companies really stamp good and what ones are, like, terrible. So these are all... Um, just to give you some examples, this is my Memento, or I'm sorry, my Neon Pink Hero Arts ink. And while it stamped really good in, like, these solid areas, I felt like it didn't really show the fine detail. However, my Pixie Versa Magic did great all around. 
So, um, and then like the Jenny Bolin ones do not do good where they're solid area. Um, but the Versamagics do, um, most of the Mementos do, and the American Crafts ones do pretty well, but all of these new stamp sets, the first time I stamped them was on here, so I found that had I stamped off the page a little bit and then done it here, it would have taken a little better. But these are all like my reds and pinks, and then I have that many like orangey yellows, and then I only have four like indefinite yellows. And then, see, then I know kind of what I'm missing and what I need. These are all of my greens. I have a lot of greens. I tend to lean towards green as one of my more favorite colors. But, like, I could see um, what was drying out, too. Like, these are both from the same. They're from, oops, I just hit the camera. They're from this color box, um, Cat's Eye. And I've had this for so long that I can tell it's starting to kind of dry out if you see kind of the way they stamp. So... Um, at least then I know. And I actually got rid of a few inks after doing this process. Um, these are my blues. This is that awesome aqua that I just got from American Craft. I love it. And then, like, look at the Soft Stone um, Hero Arts Shadow Ink. It did not stamp good there. I hope that's the first time I've ever used it, so I hope it stamps better. Um, and then here are my purples. Please excuse this big smudge right here. I don't know why it's smudged. But, like, my lavender sachet from Jenny Bolin was, like, the most smudgiest. It just was too, like, the pad was too juicy and it just did not show detail. So those are all, like, my purpley colors. And then here are all my browns. So this one right here that stamped horrible, I actually ended up throwing out that stamp pad because it was just mostly dried out and it doesn't have refills. It's a really cheap Stampabilities ink pad. And then the first time I stamped the gold pad, it was like, I don't know how to describe it, but like the juice hadn't come to the surface, so it stamped really light. So I went ahead and stamped it again right there so that I could really get a good idea of the color. And then last but not least are the grays. Um, I didn't stamp any of my black inks because to me, a black's a black. I only, you know, like I use my Memento ones for my Copics. I use my Versafine for wood. So they're all black, but I just have different purposes for them. And then I only have two white ink pads, so I didn't stamp those. But just an idea, um, I'm just going to keep these. And I have this little thing right here on my desk, and I'm going to just stick these right in here. So that they're there when I'm ready to stamp. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.